we need the protein. We need the meat, unfortunately. Where I'm from, meat eating is, is, is very important because it's a, a cornerstone of our diet. If killing animals became illegal, then yeah, I'd happily stop and, and become a vegetarian, not a problem. I couldn't become a vegan though, that would be impossible for me. I'm going to ask you, so let's say I want to um, take the freedom away from somebody. Yeah. How important do you think consent is? Oh, very, very, very. important, yeah. Can I ask why? Just because uh, we're not here to be ruled by others. I think everyone should be able to make their own decisions and uh, within the laws, obviously, but uh, the laws shouldn't be too strict to stop you having sort of the freedoms that people have, don't have in other countries, for example. Okay. What if this person that I'm trying to... Uh, take their freedom away. Yeah. What if they're passed out and couldn't remember, or couldn't remember? Uh, well, you got to balance harm's way with the right thing. So if they're in harm's way, you should be able to help them out and stop them from getting hurt. But it's not in their harm. It's in. It's only for my own interest. Oh, for your own interest, just leave them be. Let them be. Don't take. So we still need consent in that sense. Yeah, definitely. Okay. What if this person is mentally challenged or not intelligent enough that they can possibly consent to it? That's a tough one, that is. I'd say, I'd say still, still, you try and educate them, but still, still you can't. Consent, right? Yeah, because when people take away consent, they get power hungry and then they, where does it stop? Thank you, I like that. Okay, what if this person looked different? Like they have a different skin color, they have a lot of hair, I don't know, on their body or something? People make so much of discrimination when re really, it doesn't matter what skin color somebody has, it's just you don't like somebody for some reason some habit they may have and then you just decide that oh the skin color is the reason i don't like them or the hair or something like that so each to their own i reckon okay so we've established that no matter how the person looks like no matter what state they're in no matter if they can't give consent or not we should still always ask for consent correct yeah always ask okay love it what if we really want to do it like what if we really <laughs> <laughs> well if we're in a dystopian world like mad max it's gonna happen isn't it if people want that something to happen badly enough it's gonna happen but we still need consent you right? get yeah you're getting into criminality there so they'll what do if, it but they, they need to get caught what if it benefits us uh it gets tempting then doesn't it a lot of people get tempted to do whatever they want to make a bit of gain yeah but uh, they still shouldn't do it fair enough because we still need consent what if a lot of people are doing it doesn't make it right doesn't herd, make ment it right. herd mentality herd mentality what if it were normal to do so that's a cultural norm there so again each cultural area is different so uh, for me I'd respect my own values what makes me feel right inside so you would still think consent matters personally yes yeah okay and what if it were legal oh well, if the laws are right in that country and you're a guest in that country because I'm not actually from this country yeah. I'd respect those laws whether I like them or not if I don't like it I'd, I'd go to a different area I wouldn't, okay. wouldn't stay in that zone so we've established just to be clear yeah. we've established that no matter how they look like no matter what state they're in no matter if they can understand or what's happening or not no matter if you want to do it no matter if it benefits us and no matter if people have been doing a lot of people have been doing it and for a long time consent still matters right yes okay now let me ask you what do you think about animals going into the slaughterhouse for us um unfortunately it's it's a bit of a necessary I want it to be ethical, so they don't. Well, you know, they're not suffering as well. No, no, no. Uh, but we need the protein. We need the meat, unfortunately. If you were to find out that we can, you can get protein and all the necessary macronutrients that you need from plants, which you can. Is it? I I do edge on the side of vegetarianism anyway. I'm yeah. not a huge meat eater. There's just a couple of items that I do enjoy: a bit of a burger or a sausage every now and a bit of bacon now and again. Apart from that, chicken. But I do don't you think really eat much at all, but uh, again, yeah, I see what you're saying. Because the consent matters, right? It does, yeah. But we're not, um, we're different species, species to species. Does it matter? Um, I suppose it does a little bit, but um, you're talking the food chain now. I'm talking the food chain, but it's a food chain that we created, right? Because we can say, oh, it's a food chain where because of our higher intelligence we can do this to everybody right so it's not necessarily a food chain it's something we created artificially yeah all of these animals are bred into existence for the sole purpose of being slaughtered or well, that's, exploited, that, right? that's it if you weren't going to do that the actual volumes of say cattle in the world would have to be removed yeah. anyway yeah because it's unnatural it's an unnatural balance yeah and their byproducts such as methane and other pro products like that are causing an equal amount of damage so you can't just save them all and let them go into a field. You would have to reduce the, the, the herd numbers, if you will. Yeah. Um, but you, like, um, do you, have you had any pets, for example? Yes. 
have you seen that when you want them to do something, sometimes they just don't want to do it? Oh yeah, yeah. Right. So you yeah. still, they still sort of try to give consent to you, right? Yes. They, uh, yeah, yeah. So, wouldn't you? Wouldn't wouldn't it be safe to assume that all of these animals being sent into the slaughterhouse, cows, pigs, all of them, they can still, because they, seen as they have similar mental capacities to dogs. In fact, pigs are actually smarter than pigs dogs. Pigs are smarter than dogs, yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm, and they're part of the human transport. They were pioneers in the human transport with livers and things back in the day. Yeah, with pigs. yeah. Yeah, um, nowadays, yeah, it's true. They also do uh, yeah. transplants from pigs. So, yeah, um, that, that is a bit, a bit hard to take. Try not to think about that too much when you tuck it into a bacon and egg sandwich. Yeah, Because, again, yeah. the eggs come from chickens. If you want to be a vegan, obviously, you wouldn't be having the eggs. Yeah. Obviously, um, the bacon's come from a piggy. Yeah, uh, I'm, I can't. I like the taste. Yeah, you like the. I taste. like the taste. Yeah, but yeah. do you think that <laughs> the taste should justify doing this to them? Because you see, I ask you when I ask you if. Ah, so if, in, does in, it matter in, if yeah, we like well, it? If, if you're kinky, if you're kinky, kinky, if you're kinky and into sadomasochism and you want to hurt people, you like that taste, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, I suppose it's the the, the the sort of culture I've been brought up in. Yeah. When meat, where I'm from, meat eating is 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 very important because it's a, a cornerstone of our diets. Um, particularly uh, back in the olden days when you couldn't get the array of vegetables you can now. You couldn't do it back then, you can now, but then you're building up your carbon footprint massively by importing avocados from, you know, the biggest carbon load is on avocados, isn't it, from South America? It's not, it's not, but, that, that's, oh, not, but that's not really the issue right here, right? Because yeah. let's say even if environmentally speaking it would be worse, yeah. I would still advocate for animals, right? Because oh, the, the, know, the, the idea yeah. behind it is the same, right? Like, yeah. if it would be environmentally good to harm people, yeah. kill people, should we do it? Well, I mean, do you know what? In, in, I know in Swi Switzerland, uh, euthanasia is legal with Dignitas. I, I, but that is consensual. Yeah, it's consensual, yeah, right? yeah. You know, you got me on that with the animals. I just, uh, I, I see your point, but unfortunately I do enjoy I do enjoy a bit of a bacon, a bit of a burger now and again, so... Are you talking about taste, right? Yeah, taste. And taste is a sensory pleasure, is it not? It is to a degree, yeah. yeah. Do you think we can justify doing whatever we want to these animals because it brings us pleasure? And again, I bring it back to consent <laughs> because we said it doesn't matter if we if we get pleasure from it, as lo they st we still need consent, right? But until they figure out a way of communicating with us and, and actually telling us, then it's not going to change the status quo for me. That's what I ask you because if we can if they cannot possibly give consent, no, it's st we still need consent, right? <laughs> I see what you say, but yeah. they can't they can't communicate. They might be giving us consent and we just don't realize it, so we might be all right. Do you think the animals going into slaughterhouses? They may be. They, well, they might all think that they're going on to the higher place. They've been chosen as I a mean, special, you know, like those videos, those comedies you see. I have footage on, on <laughs> me if you want me. I can show you. I, I, have been, I, 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 have, I have been in the agricultural industry. Yeah. A, friend, a friend of mine works in an abattoir and he's yeah. actually responsible for the bulk gun. So I've seen in the past there have been some very horrible slaughterhouses. It is. But yeah. a lot of them, the majority, are controlled now to the. They, they try and minimize the suffering. Like, look for example, lobster. Yeah, people. Yeah. The best, the best way chefs tell you to cook lobster is to boil it alive. Yeah. Well, I couldn't think of a worse way to go. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, all. Uh, is there any crabs or anything like that? You know. So I understand, but like, given that none of it is necessary, and given that like, it's all, how should I put this, unconsensual. Yeah. Also, yeah, yeah. Do you think? Don't you think it's a cruel choice well, to kill any animal, regardless of to, how you kill them? To, to a degree, it is. But I, I've got uh, two friends. One's a vegan. Uh, one's a pescatarian. Is it pesca, pesca yeah. whatever it is? Um, they have actually, he, my friend who's a pescatarian, he eats fish now because previously he was a completely um, vegan everything. Yeah. Uh, and they, they had a lot of uh, deficiencies in their diet to the point where they were they having to have um, supplements, specific supplements, and then fabulous supplements don't really give your body what you need that you can get from fruit and veg or meat, or meat unfortunately. Um, and they've had to sort of supplement the diets because they weren't getting enough. Now, I know you said we can. Get we all can, the yeah, bit, we can. but we have to search far and wide and make sure we're getting enough if we live in a purely vegan diet. Whereas we, you know, if you eat a bit of, a bit of red meat, you know you're getting certain key vitamins and minerals you need. Same as broccoli. You but red meat is also like, so so if we want to get into nutrition, we can get into nutrition. But like, I want to first see if you understand the issue with the animals, right? Yeah, because yeah. because if I were to ask you, let's say the only meat you can buy yeah. is dog meat. Yeah. It's the only one that you can get. All the uh, <laughs> yeah. would you buy it? If I if I had to for my diet, if it was. But you don't have to because you can get all the nutrition from plants. Well, no, I wouldn't choose to buy dog meat. You wouldn't choose to buy no, dog no, meat. No, no. Okay, so then what is the difference? The morally significant difference between a dog and a pig that says one, it's okay to be killed for for your food, and one isn't. Well, my upbringing and taste then. My your upbringing and taste. But do you think that is there a trait 
that the dog has and the pig doesn't? Uh, well, I think the dog has endeared themselves to humans in a way that they're a pet. Well, well we decided that, right? Yeah, exactly. There's but people they were, who have pets. They, 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 were, they, were, they made better, there was better animal husbandry there as opposed to farm animals. Uh, the dogs became your servant, really. Um, and that, that's where they've sort of ingrained themselves on the human population as a cuddly little friend. That's what I think, anyway. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I think each person's individual to their own opinions and should be allowed to think the way they want to think within the laws. Obviously, if killing animals became illegal, then, yeah, I'd happily stop and, and become a vegetarian, not a problem. I couldn't become a vegan, though. That would be impossible for me. What is uh, stopping you from being vegan? Wait, wait, before all of this, because you mentioned vegan a couple of times. What do you think veganism is? Well, veganism is obviously you don't have dairy products. Yeah. I like cheese. I like uh, a bit of milk in my coffee. I like a good coffee. And I like, um, I like eggs. Yeah, so, um, but then true vegans obviously don't eat any of that, do they? Yeah, so, so veganism is a moral framework mm. where we oppose the commodification, the use, abuse, and yeah. slaughter of animals, yeah. especially given that it's needless. Yeah, and uh, that and we follow through with it. So that means we don't consume any animal products because yeah, yeah. there's obviously animals are being used and abused and slaughtered for all of those. Yeah, yeah, uh, and we also don't go to circuses. We don't. Uh, participate in any form no, of like, animal use. Look, I've got a lot of friends that think horse racing is incredibly, uh, in incredibly It is incredibly uh, cruel, yeah. Cruel, yeah. yeah. Um, but then I've been to the horse races, I like point to point. Again, a lot of horses are only kept for racing. Otherwise, they'd just be, they wouldn't be able to sustain themselves in the wild these days with, with sort of um, the way humans have cultured the world now, uh, cultivated the world now, sorry. So, But what is keeping you from being vegan right now? Because I understand, is, is it just taste? It's taste, and I suppose it's a bit, I suppose it goes along the way of addiction really, doesn't it? Interrupting Chip here. Calling it an addiction is just another way of not claiming responsibility for his own actions. Basically, he's saying that he doesn't have control over it, so it's not his fault. But that is simply not true. Yeah. I used to meat. Yeah. You know, the taste of a good burger. I like a good burger. Yeah. I'll go without it for a week or two. Like, since I've been in Amsterdam, they love the meat, they love the fries, chips yeah. here, frites. Uh, I've had a few of that, and I'm, I'm over that now, so I am actually just looking for smoothies, healthy options today, plenty of fruit, uh, because too much of it just makes me feel a bit, you know, and uh, I don't think I could give it up forever. I, I understand the commitment uh, issue, right? And yeah. I, can, I can tell you something about the meat, but let me just tackle the, this whole taste thing, because taste, you should know that vegan food yeah, yeah. is tasty as fuck, <laughs> uh, first of all. <laughs> Second, uh, it's a taste is a matter of uh, like let's say. Do you remember when you were a child? Did yeah. you like the same things you like now? No, oh, not everything. No. No. So no. taste changes oh, over course, time, of course. right? No, don't, let me just. So wait, taste I, adapts. I, I have. I love certain vegetarian dishes. Yeah. I used to live in Australia, and vegetarianism out there is not as far along as it is over here. Yeah. Some of the dishes out over there are amazing. Over here, I've got a big problem with people calling, you know, oh, this is vegetarian, bacon-free bacon, chicken-free chicken. Free chicken. I, I don't agree with that, it's, you know, so, uh, meat-free meat sausages, no, just do a proper dish, you don't have But to, it is proper, we don't, it, it no is, animals yeah, are killed, with, right? With, no, but with tofu and things, I just don't like the imitation of the meat. You know? And you don't have I to have that. Remove that. And, and I, we cook, I've cooked some very good vegetarian dishes, but I think for me personally, and for where we live and where we come from, I think we would always, we, 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 we cut back a lot on what we eat in meat, meat quantities, um, to a minimum. But we would still keep it as a blend, regardless of what other people's opinions are, unless the law physically changed. Unless the law physically changed. So, okay. And I would probably... Where do you live, by the way? Uh, Wales. Wales. In, yeah. a, oh, in, in, in a very... In, in a farming heartland, basically. Okay, because I know UK is the number one leading country for vegan products. Yeah, but it's waning. The, the fad, is, it's, 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 it was a trend. Uh, the diehards will keep to it, but a lot of the, the people on the line, the wishy-washies, they'll just go back. The, the, fat is the, people that, the people that go back aren't vegan, right? They're plant-based. Veganism no, yes, means yeah. you oppose the yeah. commodities of animals. You can't yeah. oppose it one day on the other day. Pla so it's plant-based okay, right? diet then. Plant yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's okay, right? Some people will do that diet. Some people will yeah. go through diets their whole life, right? Yes, yeah. But this isn't about the diet. This is about animal suffering. That's why I say it's not, I don't necessarily want to get into nutrition because with nutrition no, you can get I everything get it. you I get want. It. I don't like the idea of animal suffering. If you're going to kill an animal for food, it's got to be quick and as pain-free for them as possible. And they have to be treated well. Like the Japanese with, with the, um, what's the, the beef? Wagyu. Wagyu. Now they, they I've, been, I've seen a farm in Japan uh, and how they do the Wagyu. And it was a very good farm. 
and the cattle there have been so well looked after and they have to do it in such a humane way otherwise uh, it affects the, the, the uh, toughness of the meat. Interrupting Chip here. Wagyu cows are usually kept in small pens and not allowed to graze outside in order to fatten them. They are not massaged but rather just have been selectively bred to produce meat like that. They are fed a high concentrate diet which in turn induces greater accumulation of intramuscular fat. None of them want to die, yet they are killed at less than a quarter of their life. So regardless if they were treated nicer, it's still a system of enslavement, exploitation and violence. Would you accept yourself to be in those shoes, to be I fed and then at gonna, some point if killed? If I was going to be a cow, <laughs> right, I'd want to be um, a, wagyu. a Wagyu because, you know, it's the least you worse. Be, you could be in a field in Wales, in the rain, the cold, the shit weather, pardon my language, and then you're, you're slaughtered. Or you could be in Japan, kept in lovely five-star barns, as much hay as you want, massages now and again. I mean, in the cow world, that's a great way to go. Yeah, but you know, in you're a... going to be. And unfortunately, we've got we've got we've got the uh, peck in order. So uh, it's, I don't think cows are going to over, overtake humans. And uh, I mean, they did. They're way more cows than humans. Uh, I mean, actually, have, they, no, maybe they, cows not. I don't not think really. they as animals no, cows not. have the brain capacity to do it. No, but, dolphins, but we don't need dolphins. But does it matter? Well. Like, if, if if we find if some humans are far more intelligent than other humans, yeah. should we subjugate the far less intelligent people? Should we do this <laughs> just because we can? That's been happening for centuries. But but, uh, so but is it, is it moral? That's no, 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 no. It's not. I think everyone should respect other people's opinions, choices. If, Unless their choices inflict on others, on others. Well, to a degree, right? To a degree. Like uh, if I, if if it's my free choice to punch people on the street, do you think I should do that? No, you shouldn't do it. Right? You because could, I inflict on everybody else. Right? You could go and do it if you wanted to. Eventually, you get arrested. Uh, I can stay well away from that. Take yeah. myself away from that <laughs> into an area that's fine for me. Yeah. And that's what I would do personally. Yeah. I don't really like confrontation as such. So uh, for me, I just let everyone do what they want to do within the rules of the laws. Up until and, it affects uh, you, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 But then, so then, do you not, do you not think that you, if you would do something that would affect other people or other individuals, wouldn't you think it's important that you stop? As again, we, we, we can come back to the consensual thing, yeah, right? Yeah. So especially given that those people, those individuals do not want yeah. that happen to but them. But you know what you do need to, and I go about the question, uh, yeah. the question you raised earlier, is herd mentality. Yeah. Unfortunately, to make changes is what you're talking about. You need to get that herd mentality going. And, and how does herd mentality change? Like uh, how does social well, change you, you, happen? Social media influencing now. And, in, and also and it's individual turning, changes, yeah. right? You can't change anything overnight. No. It takes generations I to agree. It. But like individual changes yeah. do take... You look, at, look at the transition from oil to, to, to gas to, 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 uh, to other cleaner fuels now. But those are because uh, a lot of people are involved in the situation. Yeah. Individual changes don't take a long time, no, right? No, no. Individual changes, if you want to make a change, like if you want to oh, be part of the change, tomorrow. you can do it tomorrow, right? But you couldn't say to an alcoholic or a drug to say, all right, you're going to clean up tomorrow because I can guarantee within a couple of days you'll be back on the beer, back on the drug. Because it's an because addiction, it's, it's a, human, a different thing, right? Yeah, but you've got the human nature, human complex to take yeah. into consideration. And you look at all the different um, uh, types of us that there are, we're all very different in many different ways. Unique and wonderful, but bad and terrible as well. I agree, but like, I, that doesn't mean like if we, we can't justify and sweep it under the rug by no, saying no, no. we're all different no, no. when it comes to people who rape other but people when it comes to people who kill other people it's, it's so a, why is it that okay for us to pay for animals to get raped yeah. for animals to get killed for something that is not necessary but for rather for something that we choose to do it because it brings us pleasure taste pleasure in, in my area we would struggle to get the diet where we live unless we were prepared to drive uh 200 miles or 100 mile round trip uh, where we live um, to get the right foods on a regular basis. Do you have a supermarket? We, we do have a supermarket near us, but it's terrible. And it's, it's not stock in the nothing. Pasta, rice, beans, lentils? Not every, no, not all of that, no. No, we get, we probably get a bit of pasta and maybe rice. But we wouldn't get anything, we wouldn't get lentils. You don't, you right don't have uh, uh, what, cans? Uh, they, they do, no, but what I mean is where we live is quite a rural area. We have to drive to the shops to get it, you see. All the more important that you change then, because you could spark the change in that area, right? You could do, but just like uh, Jehovah's Witnesses come into your house every weekend to try and get you to yeah. convert to the correct religion, because they know, they know fundamentally that everyone else is going to hell. I haven't become a Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. So I'm not trying to be uh, rude in any way, shape, or form here. However, the the, the argument you're giving me to become a vegan, uh, it, yeah, great. You can argue all day. It won't change me. Yeah. I am conscious of it all, though, and I bear it in mind. But so you don't mind being uh, on the side of violence in no. this matter, right? Not all the time, no. 
But it's always all the time. It's violent to kill an animal, wouldn't you say? Um, Would you say it's an act of violence to kill an animal needlessly? No. No? No. It's, it's, so if I were to find a dog right here and slash their throat, as long you as say, you eat it all. Yeah, if I eat them afterwards, it all, it's yeah. all okay. And it keeps you or your family going, that's fine. Well, I could choose something else to keep my family and myself going, but I choose to kill a dog. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so you, is it that you don't value any animals or that you think because they're inferior they don't deserve to I live? I respect all animals, all creatures. And do you think but you're respecting them when we kill them needlessly? Listen, we, them needlessly. our pet chickens, I, we had pet, pet chickens growing up, all had names. We looked after them like pets. I ate their eggs and then we eat them when they'd stop laying. But so they didn't never consented to any of it. No, did no, they, no, no, right? no, no. So they never consented for them being used. Well, they might have done. I just don't know. They could have been gone. I, they could have said, as soon as they finish laying, look, I've had a guts for you. End me now. They could have been saying that, but I just. I mean, couldn't they definitely start. haven't said that. I right? don't know though. How do you know though? Because they struggle and fight to not have, for this not to happen to them. If well, you see I, the I, footage. I don't know. Have you seen a sheep get its head stuck in a fence? I mean, it'll stay there till it dies. Maybe, but that's an accident, right? I, I've, well, I have really, seen no, people no, get trapped in places, and yeah. they can die. Also, people can also can die yeah, trapped in places. Right. So, where I was working on a farm, one of my jobs is every morning I had to walk around and pull the sheep out of the fence. They okay. put their head through the fence to eat the food on the ground. Unfortunately, if the same sheep keeps getting his head stuck and you don't find it for a few days, it's going to be found dead. For me, that stupidity uh, there, uh, and I know what you're saying about people having the IQ to yeah. make the choice. For me. I, I'm not going to be responsible for just keeping that animal alive every day. It will eventually die if I stop walking around and checking the fences. Because so, you Im, Im, imprison them into a, into, into a system, into a place that they didn't create, right? Fences uh, are something that we as humans yeah, have I didn't created, I didn't right? imprison them. If they, somebody, they, they if somebody creates this fence-like yeah, thing yeah, that, is, yeah, yeah. that you cannot possibly understand yeah. how it works and they imprison you in can it, ask, you may also get trapped Can I ask in you it, a question? Right? Do you remember? Do you ever remember that story about the plane crash in the Andes, the rugby team that crashed in yeah. the 70s or 80s? Yeah. And they, a few of them survived. Now, because they ate each other. Would you have just died? Or would you have? have what would you it's, have it's done? It's tough to say. It's tough to say, right? Would you do let me just situation? let me just answer this question in a in a different way. It's yeah. tough to say. I'll answer it also what I would do, but I would assume. I would first of all say it's immoral to kill anybody, yeah, yeah. first of all, yeah. because you don't get consent from them no, to no. kill them, yeah, so yeah. then I would say it's immoral. But of course, if I would have to survive to kill somebody, maybe I would. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I would, an animal, a human being. But this is not the case that we're in every day, no, right? No, no, no. This is not the situation. No, no. We're not in a situation where we have to survive. I can't just go around killing people and eating them now, saying, well, <laughs> I have to survive, right? Yeah. So why is it okay to do this to animals? I go around killing animals saying, well, I have to survive, right? Yeah. Like, isn't yeah. it just as unfair? Don't, do you think uh, the animals don't value their life just as much as humans value their own? They probably do. They yeah. probably do. So shouldn't we at least give them the benefit either to live their life free of us? or Because if you think about it, do you believe in evolution? To a degree, yeah. I mean, uh, we I mean, were we were gatherers before we were yeah. farmers, yes. We were all on this earth at some point, yeah. right? Just but because we developed intelligence, but just because we developed intelligence doesn't mean we have dibs on earth but and the, means we can dominate everybody the, and subjugate everybody. Did the early everybody. humans decide to just go plant-based? Was that purely through choice they decided to be meat? Probably not, right? But nowadays we do have the choice. I understand that in the past yeah. maybe the choice wasn't there. But then it gets ingrained into to our DNA to a degree, I think. But I think it's, it's not ingrained into our DNA because there are several uh, yeah. scientific resources again, that explain again, that we can survive it's, it's, it's and thrive. It is a matter of opinion, though. But you know, it, I do respect your opinion. And it's, you a it's a matter of choice. It's a matter of choice, not a matter of opinion, because it's not an opinion that animals die needlessly well, for you. As well, isn't it's it? a matter of choice that you yeah. choose for animals to die needlessly. There's a difference between opinion and choice, not right? Needlessly, they're going into the food stream. It's not so they're just getting wasted. Yeah. Well, we it, it is needless okay, me, because it's okay. not needed. Okay. okay, let me ask you this then: the world population is over seven billion, or around seven billion, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah? Now, if everyone was to go plant-based. Is there enough land without the complete percent without complete deforestation? You know, for one gram of meat, for one gram of of uh, animal-based protein, mm -hmm. they use eight times more land. Do they? Yeah. Do they? It is. What about paddy carpet. fields? Paddy fields and the production of some of these products and the amount of water they use. Way less water. Like if you think mm -hmm. about environmental things, mm -hmm. it is again. But we yeah. come back to the environment now, yeah. and I ask you again: yeah. if we kill people, we would it yeah. would be better for the environment, yeah. but it would still be immoral to do so. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's the same thing we do to the animals. Yeah. But like, if you want to think about it this way for the environment, it's simple: <laughs> animals eat. It's a the trophic chain. Yeah. Plants, they get uh, energy from the okay, sun. So if, animals if, eat the plants, and okay. we eat the animals. It's obviously we're not going to get as much okay. energy as if we did if we ate the plants. Cats eat cats eat mice. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what do you do about that? 
And what do you do about lions eating um, zebras? Well, How first are we of all, stop all of that? first of all, cats shit in the litter box. I yeah. don't shit in the litter box, no, so no. I'm not going to derive my morals based on what other animals do, right? No, okay, that's first of but all. You're not gonna second stop of all, each other, are second you? of all, I cannot stop them, right? No, that's the no, thing, no. and they need to do it to survive, right? Do or they, they have it ingrained in their DNA. But can they not get the same nutrients for their particular requirement? But you claim or? we're morally superior to them, right? Uh, no, I know. I, 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 I don't claim that we're morally superior to all of them. I think on an intelligence level, it's been proven we're, pigs, we're more dolphins, intelligent. So Morally, then shouldn't we act more intelligently? Well, shouldn't we say that. then, okay, well then we can think better than them. We can, we know what is good and bad, <laughs> okay. right? Humans are capable of great, yeah. greatness. But we're also very, uh, we're also pretty much a rubbish um, species as well at the same time. We're good, but we're rubbish at the same time. Yeah, but that's a, that's such a cop-out, right? Because you're like, it doesn't, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of, of an appeal to futility where you're like, it doesn't really matter. Everybody's either good or bad. Might as well just kill a person. It doesn't matter. Everybody's no. good or bad, right? So you it's, we, we can't... inner morality that will stop you doing that. Yeah, but your inner morality says that it's wrong. Or, or yeah, does it but, say but that it's... But we're also going off the laws that is in place in the country at the moment. You know, etiquette's a big thing. You know, I will hold a door open for somebody. A lot of people would let it slam in other people's faces. Yeah, I'm but going to change the world. Anyway, listen, um, it's been lovely speaking to you. I can see we're on very different sides of this. Yeah. You won't convert me. I will bear in mind what you're saying. I will, yeah. You won't convert me, but I'm going to crack on with my day now. Yeah. With you. Just think about consent. Yeah, that's yeah, what, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. What, that's what it is, right? Good luck to you. Okay. And what you to achieve. Have a good one.